Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, before we get into this, I'm going to be doing the shells, then we're going to get into the tarot cards, then Spirit's message directly for you guys, okay? So if you guys like these videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Let me know. So let's get into your reading, Taurus. How are you guys doing, my lovelies? I see you guys shining. I see you guys focused, determined. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month. All right. Wow, Taurus, you guys have a lot of opportunities coming for you guys in regards to finances. I see a lot of you guys either starting a new career, starting a new uh, business, starting a new endeavor. Um, they're telling me here that for some of you guys, you're going to either uh, be starting a new job or uh, doing what you've been doing up until now. But I see you guys going towards like a different path. Um, this could represent almost like picking up on things, um, almost like a feeling of wanting to gather knowledge, wanting to learn more about something. Uh, and this could be something that you uh, start doing a spare time and it turns into something that you're really interested in and you could potentially make this either a business or a career move. Um, I do see you guys at crossroads right now. So there is a lot of opportunities. There's going to be a lot of momentum coming for you guys for this month of uh, March all the way till May is what they're saying. So there's major transitions happening here. Now, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with people um, from the past that are coming back around, trying to reconnect, trying to uh, prove something to you, Taurus. This could be an ex-partner. This could be a person that you were with in a long-term committed relationship. If you are in a committed relationship and things just haven't been going good or that great, I do see the person wanting to put forth effort, but I feel that it has more to do with the fact of them feeling like they're kind of losing you. Uh, if you're no longer in contact with this person, I see them coming back around again. It's almost like a hot and cold type of energy where they come into your life right when you are starting something new or when you're moving on and you feel strong and you feel powerful in your own energy. And then they come to shake things up. They come to see if you allow them uh, to continue wasting your time. OK, this is what they're saying. Uh, they're coming back around to see if you still allow them to uh, waste your time. So whatever that means to you, again, if it is a person that keeps coming in and out of your life, do not entertain that Taurus. You deserve so much better. You have a lot of opportunities here, but I do see a major shell and it's going towards the past. So again, I feel that if you guys are dealing or will be dealing with the person from the past, they're going to detour you from the path you're supposed to be walking on. You should be embracing all these new opportunities instead of looking behind or looking to the past. This can even represent almost like nostalgia or lo constantly looking at the past, um, feeling like you've missed opportunities or you've, what if, it's almost like what I'm hearing is like, what if this time around we can actually make it work? What if this time around, um, they're genuine in them telling me that they're going to change and I don't want to miss that opportunity. What Spirit is telling you is no, dear. If that was the case, they would have made it work the first or second time. So do not entertain that energy. It is about embracing these new beginnings. I do see you guys almost like there's been a zigzag in your life. Um, this could be something you've been experiencing the past six months, almost like you're being pulled towards different directions. Again, this could be career moves. This could be... Um, picking up on certain things. I, I see you guys gathering or like uh, going through paperwork or even looking things up in the internet, like something of gathering knowledge or something that has to do with like studying, reading, something like that. And it's almost like you're, there's this, your soul right now at this present time, there is a need to gather information. Okay. So what this represents is this could be, again, a need for you to elevate or to grow within the company that you're in, within the business that you're in. It's about gathering knowledge. It's about gathering data or understanding the business that you're getting into if you're just starting a business. So again, I do see you guys doing all of that. And it's almost like a zigzag commotion, a feeling of 
like having a lot of responsibilities or this is you, uh, Taurus, feeling like you are wanting to pick up on different things because things you're getting a little bit more like um, like there's a need for growth. There is a need. I need to get something done is what I'm hearing. And this is you trying to figure out your path. Now, like I said, I do see major momentum and growth expansion in your finances as well. For those of you guys that, again, like I said, have just finished some type of career move, some type of graduation, some type of ending cycle, starting a new business, etc., or, or starting a new job, I definitely do see you guys making the move and it's going to be for the positive. So definitely take that opportunity, Taurus, and run the shit with it because it's going to bring you a lot of stability, okay? All right, let's get into your tarot cards. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month of March 2021? I know we are a bit behind on these readings. I apologize. I know I keep telling you guys every month it's chaotic, it's crazy, it's busy. You guys have no idea. We're still trying to, by the way, for those of you guys that have emailed me, do not feel like I'm ignoring you or not, I'm not responding. We are responding. However, we're still trying to catch up to the previous two months. So keep that in mind as well, okay? You guys can find me on Instagram. You can also find me on TikTok. Um, my TikTok is um, more casual readings that I do on everyday basis, like daily readings. So if you guys are interested in that, definitely follow me on there. My Instagram, I'm always posting the work that I'm doing for clients as well as the readings that I post on my TikTok um, and other quick witchy tips. So if you guys are interested, definitely follow me on there. Okay. All right. Let's see. Taurus, what's coming towards you for this month of March 2021? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so your first card here at the bottom of the deck, this is the energy you're going into for the month of March, and this is exactly what they were showing me with the shells. The Ace of Pentacles represents a new beginning, but it also speaks about opportunities that are coming to you in regards to your finances, in regards to the material world, material sense. These are manifestations. These are career moves. This is increased income. This is the opportunity to start a new business. This is an opportunity for a new pathway that is opening up for you where you're going to be able to plant your seeds and see them grow. So again, any major changes that you're doing for this month of March are going to substantially affect you for the next coming six months. So again, take those opportunities. Your first card here is the Three of Wands. This is expansion, you guys. This is growth. This is looking towards the future, planning, this is you being motivated. This is you walking towards the four of wands. The four of wands is stability. It is your home. It is the structure. Um, so I see you guys building. I see you guys, um, your brain is like, <laughs> they're showing me like, they're giving me this feeling almost like, um, it reminds me very much like when I have so many things going on um, with my soap line, with the readings, with the healings, with the spell work. Sometimes it gets a bit overwhelming and you're like, I cannot believe that I'm doing all of this at once, right? Um, and, and it's almost like a, this thing that my mind does where it's like, okay, let's prioritize these, take it step by step. Let's not focus in all the things we have to do. Let's just get to it, okay? So I see you guys very much in your head and what they're telling you here with the three of wands is get to it. Stop procrastinating. Uh, stop putting things in the back burner. Stop saying, I'm going to look for that job um, next month or something. Get to it now because you're going to reap the benefits. Uh, this is about gathering, like I said, gathering knowledge, getting information, making you a stronger candidate, a stronger asset to the company that you're working for. If you are, if you're being offered to take some type of training, some type of uh, something that is going to be of teaching and gathering information or learning, definitely take that because that's going to be the steps that are going to guide you uh, towards, here we go, towards the King of Pentacles. This is your energy, Taurus. This is being stable. This is being in your power. This is about growth, stability. This is about creating your own castle, creating uh, the lifestyle that you want. This is about working hard, um, 
but getting the benefits and reaping the benefits and being able to say with pride that what you have is because you've earned it. Um, for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, this could represent almost a feeling of stagnation that you've experienced in the past. And what they're telling you is, are you just living day by day or are you doing or following something that you're passionate about? This is really going to reignite you. This is really going to give you um, almost that feeling of purpose is what they're telling me here. So very, very strong energy. The three of swords could indicate a feeling of some type of hurt. Uh, this is to do more. I feel heavily like this is, for some of you guys, you guys could be going through a healing energy. For some of you guys, there could have been some type of separation or breakup. That could be the reason why they were speaking to me about a, a person from the past coming back around. Here's the thing, Taurus. What they're showing me here is, the person, the person that has either let you down, betrayed you, hurt you, or walked away from a relationship is thinking of you and they're constantly looking at what you're doing or um, wanting to see if there's been any changes in your life, etc. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, this is you being in your power and being in, in your energy. And then what happens? All of a sudden they come back around. Or this person that created this hurt and this pain is wanting to show up in your life again. You've outgrown this situation. You've outgrown it. For those of you guys that are in a committed relationship and are in an unhappy committed relationship, what they're telling you is you've outgrown the situation. It is time for you to take, they're showing me the chariot. So it's like, it's time for you to take your power back. It's time for you to know that it is up to you Um yeah, it is up to you, the life that you create. You can't sit there and say, I'm unhappy because you're not. Are you making changes? With the Knight of Wands, there's a need for taking action. And again, I feel that you guys may be tempted to go to the past. What they're telling you is do not embrace that energy, okay? A Knight is always an energy that is immature. It is always a person that is going to come in and come out of your life or it's going to bring some type of contact, some type of text, some type of... Let's have a conversation of, you know, can we fix this relationship? But it's at the heat of the moment. And when it comes, it also goes out that quick. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so there is energy towards the nights, depending on what night it is. The night of wands is always passion. Um, very quick, you know. So again, do not embrace anything that has to do with the past. You've outgrown the situation, Taurus. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.